What's up guys, what's going on? We're back with another GPU teardown. This time we have got a Galaxy GTX 460. And this is one of those like cards that really sort of caught a lot of collectors eyes. Or catches a lot of collectors eyes I should say. When they, when people like me start collecting PC parts or something crazy like that. Is it has the, a fold out fan. I've, I've only ever seen this on one other card, and that card I have never, I've not found any info on it yet, so. I'm going to be doing a teardown of this card. It's actually quite common, uh, branded by Galaxy, or developed, made, made by Galaxy, though I believe they changed their name to Galax, uh, some, at some point down the line. I have actually a Galax card around here somewhere. So, what we're going to need, small screwdriver, precision bit set likely, and possibly a Phillips head. So, starting off here, your fan connector, I can tell it's right there. So be aware of that when you take this thing apart. And starting us off, we're going to take all of these screws off. Be careful because this is... This does not have an IHS on this die, I am pretty sure. So we need to be extra careful when taking off these screws. Take them off, ease them out one at a time, yada, yada, yada. It's the same story I say every time I do a teardown. Um, one other thing that's kind of unique about this card is it has 768 megabytes of DDR5. Now that's not uncommon for GDDR3, but GDDR5, on the other hand, it's a little weird. It's a little bit of a strange combination. Personally, I, I'm not sure how they achieved that, because I thought you could only do, um, you could only do 400 series in or like everybody tried to shoot for at least one gig of GTR5 in uh, even on the entry level cards. So this is it's interesting to see that this has just 256 less or 256 megabytes less than all the other entry cards. It's interesting. Makes you think what kind of decisions uh, were they making at the company to come to that conclusion? Maybe it got too hot or something? I'm not sure. Alright, now that that's off, we should just be able to pry it apart, I would think. Unless I am wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. It, I think it's just, yeah. It's just stuck on there. Really good. There goes your fan connector. Like I said, it's right here. And this is this is one with an IHS on it, so I was wrong in the end. But that's the whole purpose of this video, so you guys know. And if I screw up, everybody gets to laugh at me, and I'm okay with that. So now this, this whole cooler comes apart really easily. There's a bunch of fluff. I was cleaning off the EVGA combo card earlier. I actually got it in the background here. The screws soaking in some isopropyl to get rid of that rust. This card will get a little clean too. It's a little dirty. So to take this giant hunk of heat sink out of this uh, shroud, Take off these four screws. I'm not going to because that's going to be a huge pain in the butt. Actually, I should. No, because then I have to reroute the fan cable, which is right here. Just route it through this little hole. And I really don't want to have to go through that trouble. There is also a, a disconnect for your fan right here on this little thing itself. And to take that off, there's just these three little screws, one here, one here, and one right there. And that'll take this fan off this whole little contraption here, 
which again, by the way, really cool design, in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. I do, another thing I really, really like is the ability to replace your cable. Because I'm sure this might have been a, 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 f a point of failure with these cards, is this little cable here, possibly because people kept closing this hinge so much, is that maybe it was a point of failure due to that. I guess, it, I bet you that's what it was, actually. Anyways, um, that's it. It's This was super easy. Uh, I don't remember if I told you how to take this off. This is just a uh, size 5 hex, uh, hex bit. So, there you go. And to take this little heat sink off here, you just pull it off. That's what, that's what these screws, that's what the extra two screws are for. The four right around here are just holding in the cooler. But, I wasn't entirely sure, so there you go. I do all these blind. It's more entertaining, at least to the viewer, I think. So, at the end of the day, at the very least, everybody will understand how they're supposed to take this thing apart. If I don't understand how to take it apart, then I'm going to pause the video, typically, and figure it out, and then come back and tell you how to do it. Because I'm not, because I'm a little bit more smart that way. A little bit more so I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ding dong notification bell if you want to see more teardowns and possibly some more interesting content coming up here. Hopefully in the next like week maybe or so. I don't know. No, wait, it'd be two weeks because I upload every two weeks. Uh, hopefully in the next two weeks you'll see some more interesting content. So, thank you so much for watching and uh, you guys have a great day. Later.